Breaking. On Friday, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled 5 to 4 against an emergency request from the Biden administration to enforce key provisions of a new Title IX rule aimed at protecting transgender students from discrimination. This decision marks a significant setback for the administration's broader efforts to expand federal protections for transgender individuals in educational settings. The new rule, issued by the Biden administration in April, broadens the scope of Title IX, a federal law that prohibits sex-based discrimination in educational institutions receiving federal funding. For the first time, the rule explicitly states that Title IX's ban on sex discrimination includes discrimination based on gender identity, sexual orientation, and pregnancy or related conditions. The rule went into effect on August 1, with the goal of ensuring that transgender students have equal access to facilities such as bathrooms, locker rooms, and dormitories that align with their gender identity. Shortly after the rule's issuance, It faced strong opposition from a coalition of Republican attorneys general, representing more than two dozen states. These states argued that the rule conflicted with their own laws, which restrict transgender students' participation in women's sports and their access to gender-specific facilities. The states contended that the federal rule would override their ability to enforce local laws designed to protect the rights of biological women and girls. In response to these legal challenges, the Biden administration filed an emergency request with the Supreme Court to temporarily enforce the rule in 10 states, where local and state-level regulations currently prevent transgender individuals from using facilities that correspond with their gender identity. In its ruling, the Supreme Court declined to grant the administration's request, effectively preventing the rule from being enforced in those 10 states for now. The court's unsigned order indicated that the Biden administration had not provided sufficient evidence to justify overturning the lower court's conclusions, which found that certain provisions of the rule were likely unlawful. The lower courts had argued that these provisions were intertwined with and affect other provisions of the rule, making them difficult to enforce independently. Justice Neil Gorsuch, a conservative, joined the three liberal justices in dissent, arguing that the lower court's rulings were overbroad and that the federal government should be allowed to enforce its interpretation of Title IX. While the legal challenges continue, the debate over the Title IX rule has also extended into the realm of women's sports. Although the Biden administration has maintained that the rule does not address athletic eligibility, critics have expressed concerns that it could lead to an increase in biological men participating in women's sports thereby impacting the fairness and safety of female athletes. In June, multiple experts provided evidence challenging the administration's claim, arguing that the rule could ultimately result in more biological men competing in women's sports. This issue has garnered significant attention, with a group of 102 female athletes and 26 states petitioning the Supreme Court earlier this week to consider legal challenges against state laws that ban transgender women from competing against biological female athletes. The petitioners emphasize the physical differences between men and women, which they believe justify separate categories in sports. A growing number of women and girls have been facing the humiliating and damaging experience of being forced to compete against males who identify as transgender in the women's sports category. The athletes stated in their filing,